Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about an easy problem from lead code. The problem name is reshape the matrix. Okay, so the problem statement goes like this that in MATLAB, there is a very handy function named reshape, which will reshape an M cross N matrix into a new matrix with the different dimension that is R comma C. Okay, now uh, you have to just convert one matrix of M cross N into R comma C. That is the whole problem. Now, how you want to transfer this data from one matrix to another? The reshape matrix should fill with all the elements of the original matrix in the same row wise traversal order as they were in the original matrix. So, if you do a row wise traversal in, let's say, this matrix, it is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so you go in a row, complete that row, then go to the next row, complete that row, and so on. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then if you want to convert in this matrix, it is similarly 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So the data is transferred from one matrix to another. So you are given one matrix and you're given the dimensions of a new matrix you want to convert to. And you just have to print out that. Also, if the reshape operation with which the parameters is given is possible and legal, output the new original matrix, otherwise output the original matrix. So if the like let's say R, comma C you want to convert to is invalid, then you don't have to do any operation. You just, you just return the original matrix. Okay, so let's say that it is a four, like two, two cross two matrix. So there are four elements, but I want to convert into, let's say, 10 cross one L matrix. So 10 elements are not there. Huh? So it is impossible. So uh, you just return the original matrix. Okay, how you can do that? Uh, first of all, you have to first ensure that the matrix you want to convert to should be also having, like, like it should also carry the same amount of data or the number of elements that were in the original matrix. So how you can get the number of elements in the original matrix? M cross N will give you total number of elements here. So M cross N should be equal to R comma C, R into C, sorry. If they both are same, then they actually hold the same amount of data, then it is only possible for conversion. When you have the conversion, what you'll do? The easiest way is like there are multiple ways. What I have here done is that you can iterate over the new matrix that is formed and you can take, a, let's say a variable or a pointer, which is iterating over this whole matrix and for every position you know like what is the original position and you can like keep on transferring that okay let's take one example so that it will become more clear to you let us take this example only let us say that i have a matrix like this one two three four i want to convert it into a one cross four matrix so what i'll do is first i'll check that the dimension of this is two cross two so two into two whether it's equivalent to 1 cross 4, so 1 row, 4 columns, so yeah, it is equal, so it is 4, it is 4. So I can easily convert that. How I can do that? Now you just do a simple traversal over this matrix. This is the new matrix. So how you can do that? I comma J, you just go from I equal to 0 to N, like R and J 0 from C, okay? So you just do an iteration over this matrix and then also keep a variable, let's say I or let's say K over this matrix just a variable okay and what you'll do is so k is pointed towards the first row and like so you have like two variables let's say or let's say like name this as column column variable and this as row variable okay so what you're trying to do is that you have identified this as a very first starting point and you have named this as zero this as zero as well now what you'll do is that you will take this first element and put it here so it will be one now you'll go to the next element and you're just like iterating over this array only and now because you have gone to the next element how you are iterating over this matrix it will like because you have to transfer this you have to also do a row wise traversal over this matrix the column will increase by one by one so first the column will be zero then it will become to one so when it when the column becomes one and the row is same it will go to this point and i am also iterating over this matrix so this will be transferred here it will become two now column will increase by one so it will become two but because two column doesn't exist because like the column only up to zero and one so when i go out of bound with the columns i know that the column is finished i have to increase my row so after column has gone out of bound i will increase my row by one and the column will again become zero and then whatever the number is here that is row one column zero this number is transferred okay so this row and column variables are used to transfer this element over this new matrix that you are building and then it is easily transferable okay so i'll move on to the code part now because it's very simple to understand so first we have find out the dimensions of the old matrix that is we have, that we have that is matrix of n cross m 
okay then if this is not same like if the dimensions are not matching from the one you want like from the one you have to the one you want to transfer to then you just return return the original matrix that is this original matrix else what you'll do you'll take as i've told you two variables row and column you know data zero comma zero and this is the answer vector or like a matrix in the new shape so it is r comma c okay so what i'll do is that i'll iterate over this whole matrix that is r comma c so i goes from zero to r j comes goes from zero to c and now what you'll do is that i want to transfer these elements that are from the previous matrix that is this which is iterated over these two variables that is row and column so what i'll do is that if my column goes out of bound in what case it will go out of bound if my column becomes equal to m that is the total number of columns in this original matrix okay which means that it is gone out of bound because the indexes will be from 0 to m minus 1 if it if it becomes m which means that it has gone out of bound in that scenario i will make my row plus plus and column again becomes 0 in all the other cases if it is inbound what i'll do is that i will just take my answer that is answer is the new matrix of ij that we are used to iterate over is equal to matrix that is the original matrix row com, row com, row and column so this will be used to get the row and column okay on the original matrix and then we are want to like, transfer to the new matrix that is r comma c so this is transferred and now when we have transferred i will go to the next column and next column because we are doing a row by step so in row, column will increase by one and in every iteration and if column becomes out of bound like if you have gone out of bound with this particular variable i'll make my row plus plus and again make my column equal to c okay and that is how we can iterate over and because it is fixed that the total number of elements are same in both the matrix this will automatically stop uh, in both of the scenario it will not go out of bound okay and just return the new updated matrix that's the whole uh, logic and code for this problem uh, if you just understand that how much time complexity is done so this is o of n square just iterate over the whole matrix once we are just iterating over the whole matrix once and that's the whole thing uh, space complexity is also making a new vector to transfer it so it is o of n square or m into n you can say for the new matrix as well and that's it that is the overall time complexity and space complexity for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention down